All right, Craig Shoemaker, First Track Snowplows. Today we're just going to go through the, the basic on off of the fully hydraulic unit on this pre outfitted or outfitted vehicle. Uh, we have a 3500 series Dodge here. Um, already has the mount and wiring kit installed. Uh, we're going to do a step by step. So basically, you have your plow um, in front of your vehicle. If you maneuver it in a way that you get those uh, crossbar lined up with your lower A frame bar, and if you just push down on the blade, you can rotate that front frame up and slide it on the vehicle. So once that's on, these clips, a T-shaped clip, uh, the tab, the form tab and cable go underneath your crossbar or the front frame and drop onto your the mushroom shaped piece or the T-shaped piece on the crossbar. If you have problems or if it seems tight going on the bottom of the crossbar, two things. Either push your front frame, just lift it like that. What it does is rotate up against the bottom crossbar, allowing more space underneath to drop that clip on. If it doesn't even want to line up and you're having problems sliding it onto the crossbar, I suspect the cylinder isn't fully collapsed. Like this one there, that has air in it. Um, I just pushed it down all the way. It's very important when you're taking it off the vehicle to collapse that before you unplug everything. I'll go through that a little bit when we're taking it off. So it's latched on the vehicle. I can now plug it in. Hand our control. Now this, the, the molded plug is a little bit uh, finicky, it's a great connection after everything's together, but it is a little difficult to get it together. Um, so now with the control, what I normally do is simply just run it up underneath my windshield wiper, around my mirror, and then through the vehicle, and through the window I mean. You do have the option. This does come apart and you can drill uh, approximately about 5 8 hole through your firewall or find a rubber grommet that you can remove and fish the wire through to hard wire it. I always take it in and off, on and off, um, that way it's not rotting long and I don't have ever have an issue actually with damage. Uh, the other plug is a little bit more robust as you saw, so there's hardly ever issue with that to speak on that a little bit. Now on the control, it has a float mode. This style of control, or grip control. In the down position, the blade will float on the ground. That's the only position that you can actually angle the blade left and right. The middle position powers off, and that's very important for storing it. Um, leaving it overnight, leaving on the vehicle parked, make sure that's in the, the middle position. We are moving to illuminated night, a light, um, illuminated switch, to tell you that it's actually powered up, um, and to remind you to put it to the middle position. Obviously up. So once you lift it up, you can reposition the wheels. And you're ready to push snow. Again, this would be in through my vehicle. And uh, down position. Left and right in the vehicle plow finish. So obviously I'm coming back into the garage shop um, storage area. Lift the plow slightly again. Um, lower the wheels in the position. position. So at this point in time I would feed the, the cable out through my window around the mirror, bring it up to the front of the vehicle. Hold it up that it's not getting pinched anywhere. Put it in the down position. Leave the switch on. Collapse that front cylinder. Shut the switch off. Unplug the control. Unplug the main power. Put my control away. Obviously not there, but in the vehicle. Proceed to unclip. So again, you might have to push back to the front frame to get the clips off. But what I did there by relieving this, the pressure, there's no linkage, there's no pressure on the linkage, so this front frame will float. 
and those clips come off very easily. Pull it, pull it away from the vehicle, and your plow is off again. So it's basically on, as long as you can maneuver that towards the front of the vehicle, step on the front of the plow, or, or uh, push it on the plow, it'll rotate that front frame up. By just pushing your other foot on the floor, you may have to just nudge it on, drop those clips on, plug in, plug in the control, your power. But, um, it's very important again, the control, if you're leaving it plugged in at night on the vehicle, make sure that control is off. We had uh, a couple of issues that they've drained the battery. I do apologize for that. It was uh, actually an overlook on my part, not catching a, a, a light on the switch to notify the customers that it was on. But with the float mode, it is actually superior to our previous control. I am going to prepare another video just to explain the benefits, the features and benefits of both controls. And uh, yeah, any, uh, I hope this answered any questions, concerns about the product. It is an easy on off product and that is the concept. Thanks again. And it's Craig Shoemaker, First Track Snowplows.